welcome back to my youtube channel i hope you're all doing super well staying safe and welcome back if you are brand new here hi i'm brit thank you so much for clicking on this video and welcome if you do enjoy make sure you subscribe and all that kind of jazz and yeah so as you can probably see by the title and why you've clicked on this video we are talking all about sex today now you might be clicking on and thinking brooke this is a bit of a taboo subject like a bit a bit weird about it and honestly i don't think people talk about sex enough and i don't think it should be a topic which we don't i think it should be an open conversation and i have always been very very lucky with my mum especially to be able to talk to her openly about sex um, when i wasn't having sex like how to build that up when i was and all that kind of stuff and i am very very lucky but i know that a lot of people go through where they can't talk to their mum i have a lot of friends who who can't talk to their mum about getting the pill or they can't talk about their sex life or problems or not enjoying it and I hate that and I hate the thought of my little sister growing up and thinking that she can't talk to someone and even if someone watches this video and gets one thing out of it that is me accomplished so make sure that you stay tuned and we're going to talk all about sex aside I also want to tell you guys that each everything i'm saying in this could work for you but it also might not be agreeable you might think no i don't think like that and that's absolutely fine everyone has a completely different sex life and completely different opinions about sex which i think is absolutely normal like anything so i just wanted to clarify that so i did ask you guys a few questions but i have kind of taken obvious ones and just a general chit chat so the first one is how do you know when you are ready now this one is such important because such important so important because i feel like the younger the generation is now the earlier they're having sex i was 16 when i had sex and i obviously lost my virginity to dan and you guys know that and i didn't wait just because i was 16 but it just came around at that time obviously the legal age is 16 and I just think that you do know and I knew instantly when I was ready to have sex. I definitely think the partner is important. If you can't talk about sex, you can't talk about problems and things with that partner, then maybe they're not the right person that you will be giving up um, your virginity for. And a lot of people talk about virginity like it is a sacred rose and like, do you know what I mean? And it winds me up because... Take an example, my gran was like, when I, before I had her sex, she was like, oh yeah, it's like magical. So my mum turned around and she went, it is not magical. It hurts. No one knows what they're doing. It's awful. And that was the piece of advice I needed. It's not a fairy tale. And if it is a fairy tale, then good on you. Because honestly, it's not. Um, but you feel it. You can talk to your partner about it. Me and Dan said like, yeah when it happens it happens when we're ready and it it happened in like the first month and sometimes it happens five years down the line do you know what i mean like it doesn't have a time frame on it so i definitely think to talk to your partner about it is really important doing it for you not for somebody else i know so many people and i have a friend in mind who was really worried about having sex because everyone else had had it and she thought she was going to be like the only one that hadn't and didn't really know what she was doing and i had to say to her babe it's fine like it's not a race and a lot of people say that and it's a very cliche thing to say but it isn't it's in your own time some people are maturer than others some people are ready for it and some people just aren't and i definitely think you have to have that sexual desire i think that i was very I was desiring to have sex, obviously, like a lot of people do. They fall in love with someone and they think, yeah, I, I want to make that commitment for you. Obviously, STIs and STDs and things, if you are, maybe, you know, this person has slept with someone else before to get checked. And also, if you can't talk about that, if you can't talk about female discharge, if you can't talk about going on the pill using a condom or anything like that with your partner, then you might have to rethink the situation because honestly... They might not be the right person to have it with if you're not open enough and you're not comfortable enough with yourself i would also say knowing yourself's body playing with yourself this is a big thing and i think a lot of girls cringe at that and think it's not normal but playing with yourself before you allow someone else 
on your body is so normal and it should so happen whether that is playing with the toy whether it's not anything like that i definitely think experimenting with yourself before you let somebody else do it is such a key thing in sex have i tried any other contraception other than the pill and i haven't no i think i've spoken about this before but no i've not i thought the pill would a be the easiest the cheapest and all that kind of stuff and i was younger and i actually started taking the pill for my periods i didn't have sex when i was 14 so i think it was like 13 14 i went on the pill i had a holiday pill and then i just started to have a pill and i think the pill was great but i have had a lot of issues with it i would definitely say do your research um and like my friend beth i hope she doesn't mind me saying she's got the implant and she had the pill and she says the implant's so much better and each to their own i went on one pill and it was I literally had to get off it. I generally thought I was depressed. I gained loads of weight. I was just awful on it. And then the pill I'm on now, I'm happy as Larry and I'm great. And it's just such a different pill. Um, so I definitely say do your research. Don't just do it because everyone else is on it. There's so many that you can do. Um, and yeah, definitely just check it out. Speak to your doctor and everything like that. A little bit more graphic but how to feel confident with him going down there so this is i reckon something that a lot of girls struggle with feeling confident about to this day sometimes you do and um, i think even if you've been in relationships for five years some things in sex you aren't that comfortable with like i know probably a lot of people wouldn't be happy with going down on him her e etc and as long as you can explain that to your partner and i just think the whole thing about sex is the partner you're sharing it with if you're too scared to say you know what i i don't feel confident with you going down there for instance it's a real problem a lot of it comes with time but once you've given yourself that time to think is it really working i would definitely say and this this is just a personal thing Feeling comfortable with yourself down there, whether that is waxing or shaving, a lot of that, making sure it smells nice. Um, please don't use perfume on it, that's really bad. But do you know what I mean? Making sure it's comfortable for you, but making sure it's comfortable for your partner as well. Um, that was what I would definitely say. Give it time. They don't know everything. I know a lot of men um, and females sometimes think that they know everything about sex. I'm not sitting here and acting like the sex guru because I'm not the sex guru. My mum probably is, but I am not. But I'm just giving it from an 18-year-old, 17-year-old perspective. And I would just definitely say that give it time they do not know what they're doing all the time and to know that you're comfortable whilst doing it because otherwise you're not getting pleasure out of it and it's not great um oh my god i have just wrote a note here underneath it saying don't fake an orgasm this is like the worst thing you can do guys i have never done it and i don't plan on doing it because i just don't need to do it um i just think don't fake an orgasm because it comes back to bite you i think i've heard so many stories about it and yeah that is such an important How often should you masturbate now again this is personal preference i would definitely say that some people don't masturbate which is absolutely fine some people masturbate once a day everything like that during like lockdown i'm guessing a lot of women like i can hold my hand up masturbated if they didn't see their partner or things like that and honestly it's down to you um whether that's using a toy or not like i said a lot of people have said like um have you experimented with toys and yes um again i just there is such a stigma around this and i know people are going to watch this and i know people that are going to watch this from me and why should it be a massive stigma around using toys and things if your life and it's your sexual life um but how often should you there's never right or wrong amount i'm not saying please don't go ahead and masturbate 10 times a day because it probably that's probably not great but play with yourself before you let anyone else play with you experience and find the ones that you like whether that is a dildo whether that is rings anything like that find what maybe makes you 
feel something and then use that because there's so many around look on Ann Summers they've got some great discounts um but yeah just do what makes you feel comfortable you don't have to do it a lot of girls say oh I don't want to do that day one never tried it but two if you don't want to do it you don't have to do it a bit more of a health one more than actual sex your experience have you had an experience with yeast infections or UTIs I have had the worst experiences as a young kid I think from maybe 10, I have had problem after problem with cystitis, BV, cysts. Oh my God. I went through a stage where I got really badly picked on at school and got called fishy because I had a really bad yeast infection. It was called bacterial vaginosis and there was nothing I could do. People would say, oh, she hasn't washed. And I was like, babe, I have a shower each morning and night. Like, I can't wash anymore. I'm going to use up all my hot water in my house. Um, and it generally just happens. I started my period when I was seven, almost eight. And I have had such a hard time i speak about it in my weekly vlog about me having cystitis and that pain oh my god it's awful and you can have medical treatment you can prescribe i was in hospital once for a cystitis um for a cyst i couldn't go to school i used to have the worst period pains honestly i've had it all guys it feels like pain and the pill really really helped me I was going through times where I could not get out of bed just due to the period cramps, pains and everything like that. So if you are struggling with it, definitely go and get help, whether it's from a doctor, whether it's from your parent, anything like that. Speak to someone about it because honestly, it will change. I was so lucky to have mum and say, I wasn't even sexually active at the time where this all started, obviously. And I said to my mum, I need to go on the pill because I literally... I can't deal with the pain um but yeah there's there's natural things that you can use for like cystitis and things but definitely have had an experience to use lube or to not so again your preference is needed here we um I don't I don't use lube I just I just don't I just find it really sticky and annoying but people really like it it depends if you get wet if you don't if you think it's more if it's better if it's not they do so much lube like oh my god your ex love it and it's such a normal thing to use i know a lot of people that don't use it and i know and i, I do I, know, I say i know a lot of people i do know a lot of people because i talk to my friends so much about their sex life because a lot of ha a lot have dilemmas and i feel like a lot can't talk to their parents which is so like so upsetting for me but obviously it is normal like a lot of girls feel like oh i don't really want to talk to my mum about that which again is totally fine but to use lube or not it completely it completely is up to you if you are dry all the time and it maybe hurts a little bit more you might want to look into doing that again completely i don't use it but that's just because i don't think i need it and again it gets in my way and it gets all sticky says said it hurts when i have sex so i actually spoke to a girl once um obviously anonymously but I spoke to her and she said it was really really sore and i said if it's really really sore are you turned on and she said yeah I, I'm normally wet, I, I, I sometimes use lube, and then I said, well, there might be something wrong, and I remember th a couple months later, she did actually message me and said that she had been diagnosed with a certain, I can't remember what it was called, a certain illness that actually caused it to be really painful, and for the moment, she couldn't have sex, so that is a message to you, and it is a message to say, if it is hurting that much, and you are not dry, you are fully in, in the moment, there might be another reason, obviously, always, we after sex, and things like that, but definitely get it checked, I went through a stage where it was really, really painful, and it just made me not want to have sex, but it was down to the pill that I was actually on and then I got changed the pill and it was absolutely fine. So it really, really does, it is a thing. And it's maybe not because of you. It's maybe just because of the situation. Um, it shouldn't, it shouldn't hurt in all in all. If you're, if you haven't got a problem and it is hurting, there might be a few problems. You might not be turned on. It would hurt the first couple of times. I remember it hurt the first couple of times. You do bleed the first couple of times, but generally it shouldn't hurt that much. 
but obviously like I've said if it is constantly um, and if you aren't turned on enough then maybe look at looking at different things maybe looking at getting some nice sexy lingerie and your man will probably love that he'll get turned on you'll get turned on all that stuff don't just don't ignore it talk to your partner or look deeper into the problem um but again it's so common for girls and guys not and to hurt her in um, and it happens to guys as well a question that i was asked and i've actually really enjoyed filming this um like chat because i can reflect on it myself and i think it will really help a few of you and i hope you aren't thinking oh my god brooke this was a cringy video to watch i really hope but the last thing that i was asked was how to make your sex life fun and i get it i completely get it i know so many people and i can guess so many people have been together for years upon years and their sex life is now dull now obviously i'm not probably not the best person to speak to this about you might want to talk to someone that's been together for 20 years and is still having sex but i would definitely say look at new things whether that again is toys whether that is lingerie whether that is dressing up whether that is literally having a night in and putting a few candles in your room setting the atmosphere and really trying new things and i definitely think that's like everything isn't it you get bored you look at trying new things in general and your sex life is just the same i have been with jam for two years now and we're not at that point where that is the case maybe because we're young or anything like that but i do get it like sometimes people probably come home have a quick shag and then fuck off and don't speak to their partners for the rest of the night and that's what something needs to have that because your sex life is a main part in your relationship it's a massive part and i always believe that sorry i always 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 believe that when you do have a, an important like good sex life your relationship just blossoms because that sexual attraction to somebody is so important i always said to one of my friends i remember she was like oh i really like this guy I was, oh you're sexually attracted to him she went oh no and i said You've literally just answered a question why you don't want to be with him because it's such an important thing. So obviously not always the case, but in, in general, I really do believe it is important. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. I really, really enjoyed filming it. I really think, obviously my advice is not 50 years of it but i generally think it's important to even have someone young talking about it i like to think that i have been through quite a lot of this stuff to be able to speak about it and i never think you should be ashamed to talk about sex with anybody um, and if that person is making you ashamed of talking about it they're not the right person and you can always dm me or anything like that my instagram is always linked down below thank you so so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye